picked up this little device, and and for those of you that are on audio, it's it's well, it's weird because it's it's if I put it right there, it's like hidden behind the mop handle. Mm. Um, no, so it's this little <laughs> it's this little device. It's probably two inches wide, an inch and a half thick, and I don't know five inches tall. Um, but it will actually charge your phone five times in the same USB port that you would charge your phone off of. You can plug in a hard drive or any kind of USB thumb drive or SD card reader, whatever. And there's this little button and you turn it on and then it becomes a Wi-Fi hotspot that oh, will cool. serve out the media on, that's plugged into the USB port. And you can also tell it, hey, log into this Wi-Fi hotspot and rebroadcast the Wi-Fi hotspot. And if you're in an area that doesn't have Wi-Fi, but you have a, a network jack plug, it's there's a LAN port on this side that you can take your wired network and make it Wi-Fi enabled. So it's pretty much like a ha like a mobile utility slash you could really do some cool hacking. We were talking about it at work and what happens if you walked in to some kind of location that didn't have Wi-Fi for security purposes. And, and the device is extremely small. Mm -hmm. And just while someone had their head turned, find an open network jack and plug this in and then walk out, you now have Wi-Fi access from outside the building. Holy crap. <laughs> into their wired network. <laughs> so it's, it's a pretty cool, like, jack-of-all-trades, wireless slash storage serving slash... Anything you want to do, kind of utility. I think it was like originally ninety bucks, and then it's marked down to I think fifty, and then I think they marked it down for their deal of the day or deal of the week. It was like twenty bucks. Mm -hmm. So wow. it's definitely worth it. Mm -hmm. On the iOS and Android side, there's an app that you load um, that will let you, you the get the media. Access. It'll get the media off of here. Yeah. When you turn it on and join the network the first time. It's almost like your home router where you just go to like 10.20.1.1 mm -hmm. and use the default admin and user and, and password combo to then go in and configure it for the, from the wireless aspect. But it just has so many um, uses that whether you're traveling or you, even if you're not a traveler but you go somewhere all the time that only has a wired Ethernet port or you're, you visit someone's house that they have, you know, your, your run-of-the-mill cable mode unplugged directly into their home PC and you want to share their internet while you're there, it provides all of that in this little handy doodad. <laughs> um, it, it'll recharge most phones, I think they said three to five times depending on the battery life. iPads and tablets, not, um, I think it was like 0.75 times because of the battery differential and storage. Um, but it does have a, uh, it does charge off a micro USB. So it's, it's easy to find any kind of connector to charge it, or you can plug it in and keep it going while it's actually in use. It has a little battery, but uh, you tap on the, the front button and the battery lights light up. They're blue. I don't know if you can see them on the video. Yeah, Ooh. there you go. Um, which I like blue led lights. So that was just a, a another selling point. Um, but the device, I, I just could find about a bazillion uses for it. Even if you're on like a mega bus and you just want to serve stuff to a couple devices in your seat, I think it's completely worth it. Awesome. Only 50 bucks right now. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll include this because one thing we're starting to do uh, with the site, we're going to throw some Amazon links on there. Uh, so you guys can, if you dig some of the stuff we're talking about like this, uh, you can also support the show uh, by using our links just on uh, awesomecast.com. And we're going to stick them right there at the bottom for now at the uh, in the show notes.